Yellowstone Volcano USGS finds seven large magma chambers beneath supervolcano. The Yellowstone caldera is often referred to as the Yellowstone supervolcano because of its enormous size. It is one of the largest on Earth. A team of geologists from the U.S. Geological Survey have discovered signs of rhyolite volcanism in the Yellowstone caldera, which is shifting to the northeast. The Yellowstone Caldera, a volcanic caldera and supervolcano located in Yellowstone National Park in the western United States, is often referred to as the Yellowstone Supervolcano because of its enormous size. It is one of the largest on Earth. New research, conducted with colleagues from Oregon State University and the University of Wisconsin-Madison, details how they used electromagnetic geophysical methods to investigate the ground beneath the Yellowstone caldera. The team adopted a unique approach, conducting a comprehensive magnetotelluric survey of the entire caldera. This method involves measuring electromagnetic geophysical properties that take into account variations in the Earth's magnetic field, allowing deductions about the conductivity structure of the Earth's crust. The study, published in the journal Nature, reveals that there are at least seven distinct magma regions beneath the caldera, some feeding others, located at depths ranging from 2.4 to 29 miles near the mantle boundary. The researchers found that the most active melt storage deposits are located in the northeastern part of the caldera. These deposits contain basaltic magma at the bottom and rhyolite magma at the top.
The team was able to estimate the quantities, finding that the melt reservoir contains about 388 to 489 cubic kilometers, 1.2 to 1.5 miles, of material, a much larger volume than the areas to the south, west, and north where previous eruptions were concentrated. Previous research has suggested that the supervolcano has had three major caldera forming eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, with the last one producing lava flows about 70,000 years ago. The timing of the next eruption remains a mystery. Previous attempts to accurately determine the type and amount of material beneath the Yellowstone caldera have also yielded inconsistent results due to the extreme conditions. <laughs> 